Hello everyone, Syngage here and welcome back to Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. And this is part two, the Pirates of Galder. But before I actually start it, I do want to mention why I am uh, uh, narrating this. Uh, Shadow Dragon, I like Shadow Dragon. I haven't played it in a long time, so I want to just read through all the different story points. I probably won't do it if I do any other Fire Emblem Let's Plays, which I am planning on one because I plan on doing those as hard mode runs, and people don't want to spend time seeing all the text read and whatnot. It'd be a lot quicker to just play each chapter out. But yeah, for this one I will be reading, because I love Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Here we go. One thing could always be said about Galder Harbor, the mainland port nearest Talis. It never had much in the way of riches, but neither did it have much trouble. All that changed when a pirate crew fell upon the town and made it their hideout. Here, in Galder, history records Moth's first step toward freeing his homeland. I gotta turn down my sound a bit, this is loud. Prince Moth, I am Ogma, a mercenary of Talis. The king has bid me and my three men join your army. Calvary has arrived from the west, flying Groose Standard. They mean to take your life, sire. Be careful. Alright, so yeah, before we actually start, let's just quickly look. Okay, so we've got Ogma, the mercenary. Then we've got Cord, Board, and Barst. So, if I remember correctly here, um, Barst has higher starting stats but lower growth than most of them. He is the stronger one and has better, to, I think, a better strength growth, but I only plan on using one axe user, and that is this beautiful man right up here, Daros. Now, I know it seems a bit silly, why would I only use the pirate? Because I like pirates. Me remember, I said I like all my Cavaliers and my Pegasus Knights because they can move a long distance? Well, I like pirates because they can move on the ocean. So, yeah. It's not that I don't like all these guys, I might use them in this chapter, or later on, but... Yeah. So let's see, uh, our main enemy, a uh, pirate who for some reason is carrying a sword around, I don't know. Uh, and just a bunch of, yeah, pirates. Oh right, we have this thief. That's the silliest thing I always saw this, this map. I mean, there's thieves to destroy this village, but you'd be kind of dumb if you didn't stop them. I mean, they'd have to run right past you. So yeah, let's just get our guys on the road. Oh right. There's this talk conversation. Let's just do it. Ogma! Princess. I never got to thank you for coming along with us. There's no swordsman I trust more. I've seen your strength. You don't need to thank me, princess. I'm just doing my job. Speaking of which, your father would flay me if you come to any harm. Do me a favor and leave the dangerous fighting to me and my men. I don't need practicing. Protecting, Ogma. I've got another job for you. Protect Moth for me. But Princess... He's very important to me, and the world, but mostly to me. So, do as I ask, Ogma. Keep him safe. That's my first and last request. Very well. How could I say no to you? Thank you, Ogma. I knew you'd understand. Alright, I have to go. But I hope we get to talk like this more. Princess. Yes? You keep yourself safe, too. Moth would grieve if anything befell you. Fair enough. Thank you, Ogma. You're very kind. Alright, yep. So yeah, there's all these silly conversations between units at different parts of chapters, and... Wait, is this... I think so. That's the armory, which I probably should have been able to check. So let's see. Oh, right. There was also one other guy. Castor. The Hunter. I'm going to try and recruit Castor, but I'm not going to make any promises. I stink at this game, even though I love it so much. So first, let's move all of these guys down here. It's not that we don't want them. Let me look up. Uh, 
cord and board. Uh, I like cord starting stats better than boards. So, I might use him or Barst. But yeah, first things first, get these guys out of range of Daros and his crew. Let's see, put Marth here. Alright, let's see. Who should ride south? Eh, let's... Let's move Kane that way. Eh, we'll move them all that way, why not? I'll leave Abel up here just to help with stuff. As well as Barst. Yeah, these guys will stay right up here to aid with this. And, yeah, Sheeta so she can get experience. If she can. Uh, Vries will stay up here too. Alright, let's just end. I don't want to move Drogue, actually. Aha! Darn it, Frey. You really need to be growing your speed up. That weapon level up's nice, though. Ow. Yeah, Frey really needs to re gain some speed. Alright, we got these guys moving in. Okay, so Marth is going to talk to Daros here. Actually, I'm going to talk to Daros from here. Ahoy, Prince Moth. I be Daros, a simple man of the sea. I've had me fill into the pirate in life, and now I be looking to start anew. What say ye? Make you me or maybe, and I swear to pull me load. And that's like Marth doesn't even say anything. He's probably just speechless like, uh, 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 uh. Okay. So yeah, we now have Daros the Pirate, the axe user I hope to be able to use. And once again, I don't know why I brought these guys this far down. Let's give him a hammer, because yeah, that steel axe is nice and all, but... Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Okay, I'll just bring that to him later. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. He hits with he hits for twelve. I mean, I'll give him that. He still hits better, so yeah. Let's just sit him right there with his iron axe equipped, and we'll just get some experience on Drogue. Get some experience on Sheeta. Look at that, she can double thieves. That's why I love her stats. Alright, level up speed, luck, and defense. Well, she got something other than she at least got defense. Ooh, that's right, this pirate will attack um will attack bar board there. So if I put Abel here, he has two choices. Let's see. Okay, if I hit him with the steel bow, then Daros will kill him in counterattack, and I don't want that. So let's just do that. I mean, they'll probably move in such a smart way. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's move Kane up. Lance this guy. So yeah, I'm going to attempt to carry as many Cavaliers through this as I can and other Horsemen units, simply because of how much I love Cavaliers and whatnot. Oh right, I should mention this thing here. This is like some kind of save circle that lets you save mid-map. I don't really understand why it's there though, considering there's the suspend option. But whatever. Let's see, okay. These guys are both carrying lances, I'm betting. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Yeah. Let's see. Put... Let's try and draw them in to hit Barst. And put Ogma right behind him and equip the... There we go. See ya. Oh, good. I was actually hoping to get that guy pulled forward.
Well then. Good. Ow. So yeah. I'm probably not going to carry Barst. I just needed Barst to actually do something. Just because this Iron Axe is more likely to hit. Let's do that. Let's see, what's the speed difference between him and the Thief? Wow. The Thief will do two damage to him, so let's just leave the Thief be, huh? What do you say? Um... Okay. Simply because it'll kill this guy. Alrighty. Good. Alright, I guess I could... Yeah, I already showed off the Rapier's ability before. But let's see Ogma in some action, huh? Even though he has a weapon triangle disadvantage, look. Eh, he'll get hit, but whatever. This is normal mode, I don't gotta worry that much. Yep, so I'm going to pretty much be... Yeah, I think I'll just use Daros only. I mean, nothing against the other guys. It's just hard to carry around a bunch of axe spiders. Alright. Give him that. And I'll give him the hammer. In a second. Let's see. Abel. Let's just pull him forward. Alrighty. Yeah. So yeah, Mark's wonderful cavalry of power is just going to keep charging forward. Let's see. Let's just use the lance. Even though all these early missions use sword, it's best to carry around as many swords as you can. There we go. And now we can also give the hammer to Daros. I'll keep these guys with... Yeah, I'll put that in the thing later. I'll put all the other axes in the convoy later. So let's see. Uh-oh. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, I'm just going to... Uh-oh. Did Castor come? Oh, oh, snap. Nope, that's not good. Okay, let's see. Castor can move six. That's not... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. I just gotta pull everybody back a bit now, because I forgot about Castor moving forward. Yeah, I only chanced that because the thief was so weak and... We can see how well Daros levels up. Please get some strength. HP. You know what? It's still fine. I'm going to use him. I like him. That's why. Yeah, let's move Abel down south this way. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, so... Good. Let's just bring Sheeta in so that we could hopefully make him want to come this way. Um, pull Gordon back so I can get Drog up front, and that's good. Alright, Castor. Good, good, good. So yeah, Sheeta talks to him. Castor, it is you, isn't it? Must even good men like you betray Talis now? Princess Shia, oh, I'm sorry, but my mother's sick and the medicine don't by itself, see? So you agreed to fight for the pirates in exchange for coin? Alright, then if it's gold you need, take mine. Here, this is all I have. Take it and go to your mother's side. But, Princess, I betrayed you! Ah, I've been a fool. Forgive me, Princess. Let me fight for you. My life is yours. So yeah, Shida, I also like carrying her around because she is the recruitment master. So, because I need... I want to use up, Castor. Prince Moth, I am Castor of Talis. I wish to add my bow to your strength. 
Of course, she'd have told me about you. You know, she's always been very kind to me, sire, even before I left Talis, and look how I've repaid her. Castor, you can still show her your heart is true. Let the battles to come be what defines you. See, I do like all these little conversations. So, let's see, he's only got an iron bow. Yeah, he's fine for now. Oh yeah, he's not very fast. And I don't, but it's, but his speed growth's pretty good. So I think I'll use him over Gordon. Only because, well, he can upgrade to a pretty good class. Alright, let's see, put Frey up front there. Good. I'll have these two swing around south. Oh, good. Yeah, because carrying around a bunch of... Um, carrying around a bunch of axe fighters is hard, and carrying around even more than one archer is pretty hard. I mean, I'm already trying to carry around a bunch of... Uh, cavaliers. But yeah. Oh, forgot they could move over the sea. Good job, Castor. Sure. HP, skill, and defense. I actually like that level up pretty good. Alrighty. Okay, Drog. I'm just getting experience on Drog because I know Sheeta will one shot this guy, will one round this guy. Not one shot. Well, now she should. Well, no. I don't want to use up the wing spear, so. And she could crit him. Of course. I was relying on him not to do that, and that's exactly what he did. Oh well, Frey. I like you anyway. Let's just give you the uh, steel bow caster, and you can kill this guy. There we go. So yeah, they being two archers is hard enough, because archers usually don't get much speed. Or if they do, they don't get much strength. Alright. Since he's still ca- why have I not put the- you know what? Kane, go put that in the darn convoy. Let's see. Yep, extra iron axe, convoy it. Yeah. Yeah, all these axe fighters are just pretty much... Just a bunch of extra weight on me. I only need one, and that's Daros, who cannot use the hammer from the get-go. Well then. So I'll try and use Ogma more on the next map, but since he already started out level 4 and all that, I need to get some experience on everyone else. Alright, what's this guy got? Because I didn't check earlier. Oh, he carries axes. Um, let's get a second hand axe for later on. But other than that, that's good. I'm good on everything else. Uh, let's get Reese up here. Yep, here's some experience for Marth. Huh, thought for certain Marth would double that guy. Yeah, I like that Abel's strength isn't so high that... ...isn't as high as the others. So yeah, even though I love my high mobility units, I enjoy a good old armor knight, because they can just pretty much take anything to the face. I mean, look at that. That pirate does zero damage to a level 2 drog. I mean, how can you not love that? I mean, I could have gave that kill to Castor here, but I could also give... Oh, that's a river. That's why, Mark, why that pirate just moved over it like it was nothing. Alright, let's just use this steel sword to finish off this pirate. Yeah. So, 
It's gonna be a toss-up between me using Ogma and another sword user I'd get I can get. And I'm just not certain which one I want. Oh, mighty Prince of Altea, please will you save Sister Lena? She's gone up to the ghoul's teeth to tend to the sick there. We warned her, I swear we did. Lena is our angel. If something befell her, I No, I won't think of it. Take this gold. We've 5,000 pieces. Just promise you'll use it to bring her home to us unharmed. Since she's a healer, I promise I'll try my hardest to have her unharmed. But as to if she'll remain unharmed, that's a whole other story. Alright, so yeah. Frey's gotten his experience. But Kane still hasn't, so... Yeah. The only thing I hate is that heal stabs have so few uses in this game. Oh. Why'd he choose Ogma of all people? The one guy that could kill him. Oh well. Let's see. Oh, wow. 16. Marth will get hurt. Not by much, though. Yeah. I probably won't do much with Reese. I should probably stop wasting his heal staff uses then, huh? Okay. Who's got an extra vulnerary? Any of you Axe Fighters carrying one? Or am I still just low in num in counts on those? That's the one thing, you're you're begging for vulnerary and healing at the start of this. Oh well. Let's see. I could probably just take him out with Ogma in one round. Let's see. What kind of damage would he do? Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, I think I know what I want to do, though. Let's see. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, Sheeta is definitely not going up to fight him. Neither is, uh, Big Man Daros here. Wait a minute, what's Drogue's experience look like? Let's get him up there. Just to get him that 10 experience from actually fighting in battle. Let's just see how much damage he'll take. Ooh, I don't like him taking that much, but... I just need him to get some experience, that last 10 experience for his, for level 3. The Golovy, defying my crew. I'll put an axe square between your eyes. He ain't leaving here alive, I swear it, on the rickety peg leg of shanty peats. But your name's Gomer. Uh huh. Alright, there we go. And a level up. Let's see. Nothing. Drogue, you disappoint me. I might just abandon you. Oh well. Okay. Swarm him with knights. Let's see. Yeah, we can bring him down with our knights. Ow. Okay, and unfortunately, Abel's the only one that would die if he gets hit this round and next, and I don't want to chance that, so... In there. Ooh, he gets a lot of help. Ow. Well then. Let's see who we can use. Ooh, that's a good idea. I can get Caster a level up if I kill him with- if I kill Gomer with him. 
Yeah, that'll be fine. I can put Abel up later. Let's just kill him with Caster. Ooh. Hit, 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 hit. Yeah. Ah, Fiji B. And a ding. Can't believe I calculated just enough speed and luck. Yeah, that's pretty much what you'll be seeing from Caster. Yeah, pretty much Steel Swords are wasted on anyone but Ogma simply because of their weight. Ogma's the only one with the speed to pretty much use them usefully. You have our gratitude, Sire, for finally chasing those pirates away. Now as I hear it, you plan to march up to our rallies. That'll take you right up through the ghoul's teeth. With all due respect, Sire, you're taking a great risk crossing those mountains. That suits Sire territory. The suits Sire is our fearsome bandits. Always raiding the villages and harrying what travelers dare pass by. And the swordsman with them goes by the name of Nabad. He's a terror with a blade, so they say. If you go up there, keep your wits about you, or you won't come back down. Yep. Oh. Okay, yeah. Either way, let's just look at the... I'm actually going to do this pre-mission thing ahead of time. I actually decided that's just better to do. So that there's less time at the beginnings. When journeying in from the borderlands, one particular peril would spring to mind. The Sam Suth Mountains, whose gnashing peaks rose up and divided the peninsula. Since before anyone could remember, the mountains had belonged to bandits. Blights on the land, whose acts of plunder, kidnapping, and arson knew no bounds. Out of fear, their victims gave these peaks another name, the Ghoul's Teeth. While the bandits who ruled atop Teeth's craggy crowns took a name as well, the Sam Suth Sires, or Suth Sires. So yeah. We'll look at the map intro. Hey, come on, Lena, shake a leg. We need to get out of the teeth, and we need to do it yesterday. Rumor has it the Knights of Altea are at the foot of the mountain. We won't get a better chance than this. It's just a little father. Stick with me. Julian, I'm sorry, but I left my men's staff back there. It's very precious to me. You go on ahead. Save yourself. Here, I could use this warp stiff to send you someplace safe. Uh, uh, honey. No can do. I didn't portray my boys back there, so you could zap me out of here in it alone. Forget the staff. I'll come back later and get it for you myself, alright? Right now, though, I need you to run. Tick tock. Now move that frock. I love some of these things. And that's Navarre. Okay, so I will see you all in the next part. Bye now.